So let's talk about adding water to aldehydes and ketones. This is a reaction that initially occurs, and this is what's considered the hydration of aldehydes or ketones. Now, this is a reversal reaction, meaning that we're going to have both the aldehyde, the water, and the formed geminal alcohol produced, going back and forth. So how does this occur? Well, if we build on the HX analogy here, we really have H plus and OH minus in water. And so what's going to happen is that this OH group is going to attack the carbon, promote a lone pair, promote a bond up to a lone pair, and then the hydrogen is going to get attacked by a lone pair to give us this geminal diol. Now, what drives this reaction is OH minus wanting to be more attracted to this carbon than being attracted to the H plus in the solution. So you can imagine then that what really drives this reaction forward is not just the concentration of water, but specifically how positive this particular carbon is. So particularly with the R and the R prime groups written here, if the R and the R prime groups are very electron withdrawing, so you have something like a halogenated carbon, or you have functional groups attached to it that are very electron withdrawing, such as nitro groups, you're going to be more likely here to form, or more favorable here, to form the geminal diol. If these are very electron donating groups, so you have something like a phenyl ring, or you have like a lot of alkanes, alkyl groups here are going to drive us towards the reverse direction. These are less likely to form the geminal diols in the event that we have an alkyl group. So very simple reaction, very reversible, but we can form these diols here, these geminal diols, if we simply add water to aldehydes or ketones sitting in solution.